Hey guys, it's Fantasy, and welcome to Season 3 of the Let's Play The Sims 4, and I'm super duper excited. I'm gonna let you guys know this was starting Saturday, so yeah, um, we're gonna do a lot of explaining in the first part, like usual, but there's gonna be like extra explaining because, you know, this is Season 3 of a Let's Play that's been going on for a long time, so I need to do like a little recap of Season 1 and Season 2 for those of you who haven't seen that, and, you know... Uh, you know, season one was a long time ago, and even season two started a long time ago, so, like, I feel like it's just nice to refresh your guys' memories, even if you have seen those seasons. So, um, first, actually, this is the house they're gonna be living in, and we are playing with Destiny and Daniel, and that is Chloe, uh, that's Chloe's kids, and I'll explain that in a second, but this is the house, and if you guys didn't see the speed build that I did on this, you guys can check that out if you would like to. Um, the house is pretty big, and, um, we have a nice backyard, and, yeah, I basically built this house th with the money they had after selling the townhouse from season two too. And I'm actually gonna, I'll just show you guys the house quickly and then before I do a bunch of explaining. So here's the living room and they have a little, you know, party type area and a mixology, which I'll explain in a second. And then we have a little study room and we have a really nice bathroom with a big bathtub and a shower. And here's the dining room, pretty simple. And I really like the colors of the dining room. And then here is the kitchen and the kitchen is like really warm to me. So yeah. Um, and then going upstairs, this is like a really quick tour because I have a lot to explain. Um, here's another bathroom. There's three bathrooms in this house and this one's a little bit more simple. Um, and then we have another bathroom over here, which is Daniel's bathroom. I mean, anyone can use it, but it's like his own little bathroom. And this one has a bathtub and a shower. And then here is Daniel's room. It's like a dark blue and with black kind of like a, well, it's like a really dark brown, but then like this is black. I don't know. <laughs> and then he has blue curtains and he has a computer in here and a little guitar. And then there's boxes over here and in this room because this is just like a spare room that will either be a baby's room or a dummy's room. Um, if you guys know about, you know, the last part of season two, or actually I talked about it a lot in season two, how Demi's going to be moving in here, which is also Chloe's youngest daughter. Um, We'll be moving in here eventually when she's a teenager, but yeah. And then here is Destiny's room, super girly and pink, and this will just be like this until Lucas moves in, which is her boyfriend. I need to do all this explaining for those who don't know. And then, um, and then uh, here is her little own, you know, study room. So she can come in here and relax or work out, read a book, go on the computer, you know. There's a fireplace. I like this room. So yeah, there is the house, and um, you guys will obviously see more of it as we play. Um, so I'll start off with probably showing you, yeah, let's show you guys the family tree. So um, here is the family tree, and um, basically here, wait, what? Who is this? Oh my gosh, guys, there's people in the family, I don't even know. Oh, is this... I think this is his mom, I'm assuming. Okay, anyways. Um, here is Macy and Derek, and these are the two Sims that were in season one. We started off with Macy, and this was my very first Let's Play I ever did, and um, she ended up marrying Derek, but she did have a child. Let's see if we can see here. Um, she did have a child. She had Ava, which has passed away. This was her first child, and she actually had this child with Don Lothario. So, yeah, and you know, she made a mistake and all that and everything. So they ended up breaking up and then, um, Ava continued to see her dad a lot. Um, but like had nothing, you know, Macy and, uh, Don Lothario really didn't have much to do with each other at all. And then, yeah, Macy met Derek and now this is like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Macy met Derek and then, um, they had Chloe and well, I don't know why it's not showing all the children. The family tree's weird. Okay, here. So yeah, Macy had Ava with Dawn and then with Derek had Chloe, uh, Hazel and Landon. Um, so yeah, she had three children, well four, but three children with Derek and then, um, Landon's adopted. So, you know, but she adopted Landon while she was with Derek. So, um, yeah, he's the youngest of these four children and Hazel is sadly an elder, but she made it to season three. You guys are worried about that. <laughs> so then Chloe, let's look at her family tree. She married Jordan and they were like high school sweethearts. They met in high school and they were just like perfect. They never had any problems or anything like that. So 
Yeah. Um, and then she had three children and she had two twins, which they're not identical, like, at all. Um, so we have Daniel, Destiny, and then the youngest is Demi, which will be joining us, you know, eventually. Uh, I'm not sure how many parts it'll be until she, you know, moves in with us, but I want her to be a little bit older. And then, yeah, Destiny and Daniel is who we are playing with for this season. Um, and then um, Hazel is... A Chloe's sister, and they've been, like, best friends their whole life. Um, in season two, Hazel and Chloe actually moved in together, and Chloe was only a teenager, and she wanted to move in with her big sister. So, um, Hazel had one child, and his name is Dustin, and, uh, she actually had this child with, um, Dominic, and he ended up being very bad for her, and he, like, was not faithful or anything. If you guys have seen season two, there was a lot of drama with that, and Chloe was, like, heartbroken and everything, and I made, like, a big video of, like, her getting over him and stuff like that. There was, like, a whole video to that, and luckily she found, uh, he, oh, it's not gonna show in the family tree because they're not married, but she is with, um, a guy named Quentin who is actually an alien, so he seems to treat her so much better, but yeah, Dominic is the father of Dustin, and then Dustin is married to Mariah Fink, and they are living in a house together actually beside us, and she's pregnant, so there's going to be a baby coming soon, and I'm trying to think, am I missing anything? Uh, I think that that's it for the little recap. I hope so. We went over uh, Chloe's kids, Hazel's kids, and then there's an adopted little Landon, <laughs> and then... Um, Chloe's married to Jordan, and yeah, Demi will be joining us, so yeah, I pretty much have covered everything, um, and then Ava, um, it's sad that she is passed away, that's sad, I wish she wasn't, because all the other kids are still alive, but she was the young, she was the first, not the youngest, the oldest, she was the firstborn, so yeah, um, if you guys want to go back and watch season one and two, you guys can totally do that, but it might take you a while. There's like 50 parts in season one, 60 parts in season two, but it's pretty interesting that a lot has happened with this family and probably season two was the most interesting, I think. I made, I started making like a really deep storyline with Hazel and all that and a lot of things happened and um, Dominic actually cheated on Hazel with her sister. So yeah, he flirted with her sister and then this whole thing happened. So yeah, um, now let's get into the characters we're playing with for this season. So here is Destiny, as you saw on the family tree. Um, I'm going to go over her traits and stuff. They actually just aged up. Um, they're both twins, so they both have 19 days until they're adults. Um, they're young adults. And she is jealous, romantic, cheerful, and alluring, and her uh, aspiration is soulmate. So yeah, she has a boyfriend, and she wants to go on two dates, so we will be doing that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, she doesn't have any specific traits for what she wants to do, so you guys are leaving me suggestions. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but she might be a writer, or she's going to own a bakery, or she's going to be a doctor, um, so or like a nurse. So you guys can decide. You guys can comment down below. For now, I'm going to have her do gardening and painting, um, and she can also start writing. Um, it won't be her career right now, but I want her to be into a lot of skills, so we're going to do that. And, um, I, I told you guys in the house build, if you guys saw that, that I want her to get into gardening. So there's a lot of gardening things in the backyard. So yeah. And then, um, her boyfriend is, where is he? Lucas and Lucas Munch. And he's in a club. And yeah, the only traits we know about him is he's gloomy and he loves the outdoors and he's a babysitter. Um, I'm not really sure why, because he is an adult, but I don't know. <laughs> so there's that. And then, oh, here's Quentin for you guys, for if you guys, you know, don't know what he looks like. If you didn't see season two, this is Chloe's boyfriend and uh, not Chloe, Hazel's boyfriend. And he's actually younger. So she's an elder, but he'll be an elder soon. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. And then we have Daniel and he what am I doing? He is outgoing. He's a bro, a goofball, and he has the essence of flavor because he has the master mixologist aspiration. And um, he's completed own a bar and own two bar stools because we have them in this house. So I want to have a mix 10 drinks and that should be fun. And then his girlfriend is Elsa and um, I'm like obsessed with her. So yeah, um, she's genius and outgoing. I'm not sure what her other traits are and I don't think she's employed. And yeah, so that is basically the family and we're soon going to be having Demi. So I just talked for like 10 minutes, but yeah, if you guys, 
I don't know. I'm sure if you guys don't like parts like this, you probably left <laughs> by now. Um, but yeah, I was asked to do a recap. You guys wanted me to do a recap and there's kind of a lot to say because this has been three seasons now. So yeah, um, we're going to get into this. We're not going to be doing much gameplay for part one, but we'll do a little bit. So I, I think I actually want um, Destiny, I almost called her Dummy, right off the bat to go to the backyard and do some gardening. So I love the backyard. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and purchase seeds. Um, let's do... Um, should we do... I think we'll get some fruits. And we should also, eh, yeah, well, well, there's so many flowers in the backyard. I feel like we should get other things because I put a lot of flowers around. Um, let's do herbs and I guess we could do vegetables too. Okay, um, so I'm going to have her open these seed packets. She still has her children homework. Can we sell that? Oh, also, like, she's just chilling out here drinking some orange juice. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and open those seed packets and then we'll go ahead and have her start planting. So we'll put those there. Oh, an apple tree needs like a whole one. Okay. We'll think about that later. <laughs> oh, that has to go in the middle too. Oh yeah. That's a tree as well. Okay. We'll put the grapes in there. Um, I wish we got like different fruits, but that's fine. Um, and then, well, I mean, I don't really want a tree right there. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to use these. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's just put the carrot here and then we have whatever that is. What is it? Spinach. And then we have mushrooms and we have basil. We'll just stick that in there. And then, um, can we get another uh, fruit packet. Open seed packet. It's paused again. <laughs> okay. Um, we got more strawberries, so we'll put those here and then grapes right there. Okay. So, um, we're going to get rid of these. I don't see myself using them. Our backyard's not that big, so I don't want like a bunch of trees in here, you know? Okay. There we go. And I guess we'll have her come and plant all... Oh, I just realized we don't even have... Okay, that's that's nice. Why didn't... This is not full. Okay, we're going to have it like this for now. Oh my goodness. Plant. We'll fill it after. We'll get some more. Let's just plant all of these because this is quite a few. And then these ones. Okay. Why are you tense? Oh, feeling insecure. So yeah, she has the jealous trait and it actually like affects her a lot. I really like this trait. Um, if your significant, get, blah, blah, blah. if your significant other isn't around, how can you know, what does it say? What they're doing and who they're doing it with. So that's why I really want to have Lucas move in pretty soon because she's really paranoid all the time. Um, where is he? Okay. He's watching TV in her bedroom. I don't know why, but he is. Um, we're going to actually have him go onto the computer and find a job and he's going to be in the culinary career because he does have master mixologist and after you're in the culinary culinary career for a while or is it right away you guys told me you can pick to be in mixology i honestly forget how this works in sims 4 so let's see culinary okay so he would be a head dishwasher right now and he would make 16 smolens per hour and he would work 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay. So yeah, he has to start off as this, but I think he, you can eventually, you know, it'll ask you what you want to do. I think that's how it works. That's what they do in The Sims 3 sometimes too. Um, after he gets to a certain level, comment down below when that happens, when he can be in the mixology. Um, I'm going to have him use the bathroom and then let's go downstairs and let's have him practice making drinks because if we want him to be in that career i want him to be good at it and also his lifetime wish so we'll do that and she is almost done gardening i think we should water them all now we can actually hire a gardening service now which is pretty cool but i want her i want her to like master the gardening skill giant puddle already <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, and they're makeovers, guys. <laughs> you Obviously, you guys noticed, but I didn't talk about it. So, they looked really different in season two, and I really like the way both of them look now, and I think she looks really different. I, I'll actually um, go into, like, Curry to Sim and show you guys what they look like um, before I finish this part. So, you guys can see all their outfits, and yeah. So, I want Destiny, to, like I said, I want her to be in, like, a bunch of you know, have like a bunch of different skills and be into a bunch of different things. So I want her to have like a pretty high athletic skill, gardening skill, uh, what else? Painting skill, writing. I want her to be like really smart <laughs> with a lot of things. Okay. So she's done watering those and she's not very happy. We should probably invite her boyfriend over, but I am going to have her go ahead and change appearance so I can show you guys. And he's over here making some drinks. And listening to music, which you guys can't hear. It's right here. <laughs> oh, wait. You guys can hear it, I think. I don't know if that's going to give me copyright or not. Oh, look who's outside. It's Hazel. <laughs> okay, so this is Chloe's sister, if you guys don't know. And this is... Let me show you guys. So... Okay, here she is. It's their, it's their aunt, of course. Because, you know, it's her sister's kids so um she i don't know how much longer she has but hopefully she'll last long enough and yeah i'll be really sad when she passes away i really like her <laughs> but she looks really different now compared to when she was younger so if you guys didn't see season two you guys can see how she looked younger and what else was i gonna say i don't know but we should go and talk to her but let's wait until she goes into the mirror and then we'll have her go and chat with her Okay, so here is Destiny's new look, and I really like this top. I think it looks really good on her, and she's just wearing some black skinny jeans and some wedges, and she has little blue nails, and I think blue looks really good on her, like a bright blue, and her makeup is pretty simple. She has, a, like, a little wing, and then neutral lips, and yeah, she, I really like her eyebrows. <laughs> They're custom content, and I like her hairstyle, too. Okay, and then moving on to formal this is her formal again like same kind of like colors I don't know I really like this color on her and this is like just went really well with her body type I think so there's her formal and then here is her athletic super simple again the color <laughs> I mean it's a little different but it's still like the same t you know she just looks good in any kind of blue shade which this is a little bit different this is like I don't even know this is like neon <laughs> but yeah there's that and then here is her sleepwear again blue and it's just simple, little nighty. And then we have uh, party wear, which I, these type of dresses just look really good on her, I think. So yeah, she has like a similar style dress for her formal too. And yeah. And then here is her swimwear. And again, it's blue. <laughs> and I wanted to give her something different, but I feel like there's not enough swimsuits in The Sims 4 yet. And I don't really have custom content ones. So yeah, there is Destiny and here is Daniel. Daniel doesn't look too different. He has the same hairstyle because I think it looked the best on him. I like tried a whole bunch of different other hairstyles and eh, he just looks best with this. And I just loved his eyebrows too. And then here is his outfit and he's wearing like a leather jacket with some zippers and jeans with little holes and boots. And, um, I, oh, also I didn't do a makeover video. I know some of you guys wanted me to, but I didn't because... I wanted it to be a surprise, so yeah. Um, here is his formal, and um, I really like this on him. I usually don't use this. What is this from? Okay, it's from Get Together, but yeah, I like it. And then here is his athletic wear. He's not even wearing a top, so yeah, he's just wearing black shorts. And um, here is his sleepwear. He's wearing like boxers with flames all over them <laughs> and here is his party wear and this this is cute I didn't know what to put on him for his party wear but this ended up looking the best it's really simple he wears a lot of black and then here is his swimwear so yeah there they are there's their makeovers I hope you guys like their makeovers and we are gonna go and chat with Hazel a little bit before we end this part and I think we're just gonna have Daniel continue working on the mixology because he barely knows anything yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have her go outside. No, don't leave. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. 
Um, well, I kind of mentioned it briefly when I was explaining something. This house over here is where um, Hazel, Chloe, Jordan, Quentin, and Demi live. I wanted to have them all live beside each other, so they live there. I did not build this house. This is from the gallery, and then over here, I did build this house, and this is where um, Dustin and Mariah are living, and a soon-to-be baby. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, and we can go and visit them all the time, so that will be nice. Did she just leave us? Okay. Well... Oh, there's Mariah, and she's super pregnant. She's gonna have a baby soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. She could have the baby, like, in the next part. I'm so excited. I wonder what it'll be named and what the gender will be. Okay, let's talk to her. Um, oh, friendly introduction. Apparently, they have not met, so they should get to know each other. Which is weird, because she would come over all the time, so I'm surprised they haven't met. Um, let's ask the baby's due date. Um, let's ask to feel a baby. Let's brighten day. Uh, and discuss neighborhood changes. Also, they are in Newcrest, guys. They used to be in... I feel like there's so much I had to say that I forgot some things, but at least I'm remembering now before the part ends. Um, they're in Newcrest, and they used to be in Willow Creek, but I wanted... I liked how these three lots were, like, beside each other, and yeah. Um, so... I like that. And also, back here, I forgot to mention, they have this little area where they can have, like, a little family get-together. And I think that would be so nice. And I just love that this is, like, right behind their house. And, yeah, it's super pretty. Okay. So, they're chatting. And she's leaving. Okay. Nobody wants to stay and talk with us. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna have her come in. And maybe she can actually, you know... Get the painting skill. So she'll start a medium painting. Also, their skills. Um, let's go all over. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'll go over those quickly. Um, they don't have much skills, but they have charisma, or she has charisma level two, comedy level two, cooking level two, fitness level one, gardening level one that she just got, um, logic level one, mistress level one, level one painting, which she just got too, um, programming level one, and then video gaming level one, wellness level two. And that was actually from when the family went on vacation in season two. She was doing a lot of yoga on this, like, um, like cruise ship kind of boat thing that someone built that was really cool. So they went, went on vacation there. And then Daniel has charisma level three, comedy level three, cooking level two, fitness level one, handiness level one. Uh, can you move? Okay. <laughs> Logic level one, mischief level one, mixology level one, almost level two. He almost is getting to level two. That's good. Um, painting level one, almost two again. Uh, video gaming level two and writing level one. So there's their skills, very basic and very low. Oh, there is Chloe. I love that we're seeing everyone. Oh, there's Demi. Okay. This is so cute. We're going to see them all the time. <laughs> so in the next part, we'll, maybe we'll invite them over. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. I know there was like a lot of talking. And for some of you guys, that might've been really interesting. And other people, it might've been really boring. It just depends. I don't know. So yeah, in the next part, there'll be a lot less talking and more just playing the game. And yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for season three. I'm super duper excited and I hope you're all having an amazing day. I hope you're having an amazing weekend and I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.